Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Fran Bo. This is a newly released indie horror game about a girl named Fran Bo, I think, and her cat. So the demo came out about a year ago, and I never played it because I just wanted to experience the full game in its entirety, and I didn't know at the time that it would take over a year for that to happen, but it's finally here, and I'm very excited to play it. I would have played this on day one, but PAX Prime happened, so... That's why it's so late, but yeah, let's get into it. This is a uh, point and click game from what I understand, so that is right up my alley. Let's start a new game. This game uses an autosave feature. Thank you very much. Game was created by Kill Monday Games. As far as I know, this is, uh, this is the only game in their repertoire, but I could be wrong. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We're having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. And the cat, too. Look at him lapping up that milk. We're having so much fun! It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight, but something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Oh. Oh! Wait a second, is this gamepad? I mean, I do have a controller plugged in. Fine, I guess. Damn it. Do I have to use controller for this? Hang on. Sorry, I didn't realize. Nope. Pressing A doesn't do anything. Press A on the keyboard? Wah. Wait a second. Well, no, I don't want to... I just want to... Oh. You don't click on the button, you click on the prompt, or the dialogue, fuck. I'm fine, I guess, just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I wanna find the killer. I really wanna know who killed my parents. 
The police are working on it. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just sit back and do nothing then. You're real helpful. Nobody does anything. The police are doing nothing. Don't be so negative. Surely we will get answers soon. Oh, I guess I click this. But now, I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Yay, point and click. <laughs> I love it. Take that thing. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Okay. What is it? Examine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. Thank you, Aunt Grace, Lord of the Tutorial. She is worried about you. Why would I say this? Just repeat her name. I'm worried too. I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it. You are out of control, young lady. All right. Well, fine. Let's act up. What's the point of being a kid if we can't act up? I'm so tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. No more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine and it will make you feel very rela relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. How about no? How about no? I don't want, I don't want to. I don't want to. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. No. No, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. I can't walk past you for some, maybe I can hide under the bed. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? You're not gonna do shit. Look, he must be smart. He has a picture of a brain on the flint. Uh, okay, fine, let's take it. Must be a neurologist or some shit, right? I'm sure he's qualified. I don't feel good. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Wow, Fran, just, just do that every time and then they won't give you any more medicine. Beware, Fran Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down catch you and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. Is that Mr. Midnight talking to me? How adorable. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. You've said like three sentences, but I already love you. Chapter one, my sober day. Maybe we should say goodbye sober day. It's a Mr. Bungle reference, if any of you catch it. Okay, let's wake up. Fran, it's time to wake up. I'm still here, hideous place. I have to get out of here. Oh, is, that, is that my brain talking? Ooh. Oh, cool. I enjoy this so far. This is great. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Let's examine. A little box, it's open. Use. 
A key. This will certainly open something. Let's, let's take it. Use tiny key with... <laughs> I'm out of here, suckers. Damn it. The key is too tiny. Hey, bud. Hello, Phil. Oh, his name's Phil, huh? Hello. Uh, how are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. Um, they are just stupid. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. Okay. There's a key inside. What? Inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Okay. Who? Him. Up, up, who are you pointing at? Shit! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. I can probably do a better evil voice than that. Leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, daddy, I need you so much right now. No. I won't let that monster stop me. You're talking to yourself again, Fran. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Oh, wooden Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? I'm sure he is. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Aw. Okay, Fran, let's talk to the Teddy. Oh, wait. <laughs> it didn't, the hitbox was a little big there. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Right. Fillmore Braunstone, age eight, gender male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Braunstone. The boys developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Okay. Daily treatment with Dr. Marshall Dearn. What a stupid last name. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refused to be questioned. Hmm. I see. Documented April 6, 1944. Oh, I see. So that is the time period where we are. Gotcha. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Hmm. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? Damn, that's deep. Damn, Franbo, you just blew my mind. Whoa, what is the point? Well, what's the point of going to sleep? You're just gonna get up anyway. Fran Bo Dagenhart. I see. Age 10. The patient has found was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Dr. Marshall Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. So that was July 25th. So, Phil's been here a lot longer than I have, actually. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. How nice. Let's look in the drawer. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Aha! Ah-ha-ha! Ah, yes, yes, I got it. And there's something inside. What is... Hey, it's family portrait with Aunt Grace. Who is, I'm getting sinister vibes from, of course. The door is empty. Oh, did I take both of them? Oh, okay. Oh, this is my inventory, right. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Sure, use it. Use it with you. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Okay. I will get your nose. I will get it. You want to get it? Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? Can't talk to you. Let's use the hair clip to get his nose. <laughs> okay, well, it was worth a, it was worth a shot. Oh, holy moly, something fell. Let's take it. <laughs> a handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. I, I can think of some better uses for it. Fran, so why don't you just let... You, le you leave the decisions to me, alright? We'll do it. 
red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. I hate the monster. Right. So the, is the monster a bull? Looks like a bull there. Or is he like a deer? Because I can't help but notice that the uh, doctor's name is Deern. You're a stern looking old lady. My legs are just fine. Well, yeah. What a selfish thought to have when looking at a wheelchair. I don't need it. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Hey, empty bottles are like a quintessential adventure game necessary item. Like, I guess it's the same view as the window next to it, I see. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, wait, what do we have? We have a hook, a photo, and a hairpin. Can we combine any of these? Like, combine? Nothing. Of course, what was I thinking? I don't know, I was thinking that this is an adventure game and we need to do things like that. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Well, let's ask her. I'm sure she'll tell us. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Yes. <laughs> Now leave, I'm working. Whoa! How long was I asleep? Days. Whoa, really? Three days, maybe? Sounds like you're bad at your job. So many days. I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave, I'm working. What? Screw you! Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. I'm not fucking following you. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you go over there. <laughs> I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. Is that like a pack of cigarettes? Fine, I guess I'll follow her. Can I do anything? No. Damn it. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Um, what's a hook? <laughs> well, I have to go and find something to fix this. You little girl. Yeah, you watch your tone. You watch your tone, lady. Yeah, good, she left. Ooh, Fran can move really fast. Let's see what she's writing. Let's see what it is. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. You mean, so you're talking about like anxiety, right? This can be interpreted as paranoia. Oh, okay. So we got the frontal lobe, of course. Motor cortex, sensory cortex. Parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. I'm pretty sure the, yeah, the occipital lobe, that's where you see, right? It's where vision occurs. Isn't that weird? Like, your eyes are in the front of your head, and then the occipital lobe is at the back? I think that's correct anyway. Oh, these are band-aids, not cigarettes. I'll keep these patches to stop blood, okay? Ew! What, it's coffee! I know you're a kid, but come on. Nurse name, Gladys something. Heinrich? Is that it? Can't read that. Franbo. Okay, the patient has... Frick, I can't read this. The nurse's handwriting is awful. Yeah, you're telling me. Okay, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water. But I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. What is this? 8H? Well, we'll remember that. What's this? I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Eh, I'll take it anyway. <gasps> A gun? 
Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. Damn. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. You're not gonna take the gun? Come on, Fran. Close the drawer at least so she doesn't know that you were there. Alright, what do we got here? We got band-aids. We got this. What is this? Eight H. Right? <laughs> well, we need more than that. I saw a nurse carry a box like this. Sure you did. Maybe we can follow her out now. Eh? Eh? Of course, it's locked. Well, we can pick it with the hairpin. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Like the hook? The shape is not right. Or if there are other... Hmm. Okay, wait. Maybe we can... Maybe we can pick it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the code was... Or maybe the code's here. No. Man, he, this kid's been here for three months. Nineteen forty-four. Maybe that's the code. That'd be dumb. Do it. Well, it says hide, so I'm not really sure. Eh. Oh wait, I didn't realize. Is that it? Okay, so it doesn't open. Okay, I guess there's something here that I missed. We'll look up for numbers this time. Okay. Okay, so this is the code, right? Eight, nine, four, five. That's really easy. I don't know why I didn't do that. I don't know why I didn't figure that out. Okay, it's eight, nine, four, five. Doop. I just saw that eight was uh, circled, so I thought, you know. Now oh, come on. Boom. The pills. Katie told me these would help me. Good, we, we got them. Wait. Oh, so it lets you see? Oh, wow. Oh, this is fucking creepy. You can see to happiness. Okay. Oh. Oh, you are sleeping, sweet bunny? No. Oh my god. Oh, is that my head? Seems like it, yes. Wow. Hello, Miss Nurse. Get out, creepy creature. <laughs> you got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Let's go down here, I guess. Crap. Oh no, I didn't get to look at my patient document. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home, now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh, is that the, is that the medical term for it? Appropriate? I see. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. What does it say? Who did it? Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. I wonder if there's something, is there something else here? 
where did the clown go? Oh, that's a good question. I wonder, is there a... Uh... Maybe we can, maybe we can use the hook on him. Negative, okay. Does she have anything? There's like a ball of yarn here. Oh, okay, good. Excuse me, lady nurse, this may be very useful. Small and sharpie, this might fit somewhere, let me guess. Goes in here, right? Oh, okay, so I combine them? There we go. My very own special key, yeah. Yes, to happiness. What was that? Daddy was not there, mommy would not care. The maze. We never get to play there. Wonder why. You're my beloved friend. Bip bip firm. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Why do you look like a fabric doll? Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Okay, Fran, I don't think you should have that look on your face. There's something in here? Even the purest of things die in this place. So, can you close it? Ah-ha! Uh -huh. That's mine, my crayons! Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much, can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but you have so many. Yes, many colors, but you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. The nurses are crazy. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh. Okay. Thanks for showing me that. Please, cure me, yes? And stop the red milk. Let's see what I can do. Need, need band-aids? There you go. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. That was easy. Thanks for the crayon. Oh, let me see. What? A red puppet and a serpent. Can we take one? A teddy and many other things. Okay. This bed is very pink. Nice. Real flowers, they smell so sweet. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. So this is Adelida Fugents. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings therapy. She is making progress. Drawings therapy? I've... What a... What a I'm sure that's the professional term for it. I've never heard of it. Drawings therapy, huh? Deeran sounds like he knows what he's doing. Especially since she's been here for four months. The throne is empty. The throne? <laughs> I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. Yeah, it's creepy. I can and will hold it. Sounds like, uh, sounds like a plan. <gasps> huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. 
Did I? Hmm. All right then, carry on. Yeah, that's right. Just outsmarted the shit out of you. 